Morning everybody, how are we doing? It's lovely and sunny in Cornwall again today. Hello, how are you doing? Um, right, yesterday's block, how have you all got on? I had to recut some of mine as I told you yesterday. I wasn't looking good, I went with the three inches in the end. So there's my block, all right. Looks a bit like a checkerboard, doesn't it? I was sort of wondering, this could actually look quite good if we used bigger squares, if that makes sense. So if we maybe had eight inch triangles to start or even bigger. Can you imagine that all over as a whole quilt? I think that could work really well. Um, and if you use sort of maybe four colours so that you could alternate them and then they would stand out, wouldn't they? I think there's all sorts of possibilities with that one. I quite like it now I've done it. A um, little bit tricky in odd places where we've actually got eight coming together, you know, seams and that sort of thing. But very jolly. Take your time. You know, it'll be all right. So I was quite pleased with that. So now, I don't know if you can see this. Look, we've got four squares going on. That's really cool. Yeah, um, and I know several of you are actually keeping up with this, which is lovely. Thank you very much. Um, and we've got some photos going on on the um, group on Facebook. All right. So um, I think I called it Patchwork Witterings, didn't I? Or something like that. But you'll get to it through my Facebook page. Um, but yes, do add what you're doing, what's going on, a little bit of happiness for everyone. We've got a couple of other photos gone on today um of um sally's put on all her lovely um cushion covers um and a nice little back background quilt going on in that photo i noticed um but there's all sorts of things coming through um yeah nikki she put on her first patchwork quilt that she'd ever done um she did that with class in class when we over in St. Austell at sewing fabric so that was really rather lovely to see it finished so yeah let's have a little bit of what are we doing show it all off aren't we all fabulous all right yeah so that's good Right, so that's I'm going to call that one checkerboard. Um, as I say yesterday, um, it may may well be that I've not made up anything new at all, and I fully appreciate that. That's fine, um, but well, I'm going to call it checkerboard anyway. All right, so yes, yeah, so there we are. So I'm going to tick that one off my little list here. Right, so today um, I'm going to explain to you the next block within double snuggle. All right, so as I said. This one is a free, it was a mystery quilt originally, um, but the free pattern is actually on my blog, on my website, and my website being abbyann.com. Okay, so you need to go back through the blog archives to about June, July last year and start picking in the different blocks and how to do them if that's what you want to do. So we're doing this one, it's block three, all right? I called this one frames. Um, some of you know this, and an awful lot of you don't, because I'm also a picture framer, okay? Um, and this just put me in mind of everything has to be straight, everything has you know, nice little corners, and it's like you're framing things, yeah, with mounts and stuff. Um, so I, I, yeah, that's why I called that one as I did. Um, Paul makes the frames. I do all the colour stuff and all the mounts and... I do specialise in textile stretching and things like that. So um, do you know what? They're, ugh, absolute fabulous fun because somebody will give me, you know, their work that they're really, really proud of. Um, and then I'm able to present it even better for them, I would hope. You know, um, something to be really, really proud of and put on the wall. So, yeah, don't, don't ever forget, does your patchwork maybe need framing as opposed to just using as a quilt? That's a thought. Right, so anyway, so frames. Okay, so we're joining, 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 putting it a do, 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 and all around like that. It's a little bit like a log cabin gone wrong. Um, there are a couple of <laughs> little skinny bits, look, there and there. Um, the skinny bits, the green, um, they actually enable this block to come up to the size that I needed to fit the hole. You're getting the hang of how I do things now, aren't you? Um, so, 
lots of loveliness the sizes are all there's a pattern you can cut your pieces it's all there as i say on my blog take your time i always put on my patterns um the order in which i've joined things okay so one to two two to three three to four and then i might think oh, okay you lose that to one side now now we're going to do <laughs> five to six six to seven seven to eight uh lovely and then we can now join them two together and we move on so if you look at any of my patterns you you'll see that there is always a running order for how to join things it's hopefully the easiest way that you're going to get to join anything all right so that's frames okay so that's block three of double snuggle so we put that over there that's very jolly okay here we are have we done our exercise yet today ladies and gents have we been out there in that sunshine i tell you what england's gonna have the best crop of gardens ever in a million years i keep hearing all of the uh, lawnmowers going and things chopping and all sorts of doing i mean even even paul bless and, and that we're all out here having a little go in the garden um tidying it up Ugh, make the most of this weather isn't it really so i can fully appreciate actually if you don't get any patchwork done until maybe the evening or if you, indeed you're stacking up these little videos in order to do at a late point i can appreciate that um, we have to make the most of the lovely weather when we've got it. It's literally clear blue skies out there today in Cornwall. It is fabulous. So yeah, so exercise. Um, how's your tidying going? Yeah, are, you t are, you, are your rooms looking a bit good now? Because we've been going for about a week now. So even if you did five minutes, there's 35 minutes. So do you know what? It should be getting something like it, I reckon. And if you're like me, you start with one thing. It's like cleaning the house. I don't really hate cleaning. It's not my thing at all. Um, I'll start doing something and then I'll get sidetracked onto another thing. So whatever I was doing, maybe that didn't even get done or it takes me twice as long because I hate what I, I hate cleaning. That's, that's the truth of the matter. I would rather not do it. I don't care. People, hopefully if they come to me, come to see me, not, not what's around, but there we are. Another, another, another story altogether. So exercise, bit of tidying, bit of gardening, a lot of patchwork sounds good to me have you spoken to your friends today um or maybe later maybe that's an evening thing if we're all busy doing stuff to keep us occupied through the day um it might be a case of hello how are you doing nora everything all right yeah just two minutes here and there can mean the world to somebody and you don't even realize it you know you just that you've taken that little minute to think of them do it it's all good Oh, do you know what? I've got hair colour down on here. Because this morning, is I've been busy doing, I've, I've had a bit of colour going in there and a bit of hair in there. Because the grey roots were getting out of order. Well, because I'm, I'm, I'm not going out anywhere, like most people, um, I had to make do with whatever colour I had in the, in the cupboard. And I had like a purple. So I thought, oh, well, that's all right, because it's very dark. Like, we'll put the purple in um, and we'll have purple roots why not what the hell and we'll have the cerise pink as ever but i've done it and i can't really see any purple going on i wonder whether or not it will wash back to whatever but what i was really gonna say we're all gonna have new hairdos come the end of this aren't we so we're either all gonna be putting bowls on our heads and chopping around or we're all gonna have very much longer hair um i, I seen a bit yesterday um if you're gonna cut your fringe cut it at a bit of a, a Tell me, bit of an arc going on. Pull it out, cut it. Um, but we're all going to have longer hair, aren't we? My sticky up bits are no longer sticking up. Um, it's all getting a bit long and a bit... I had to actually dry it properly today. That's really a pain. Normally I don't have to do anything like that. Um, but we're all having to adapt, aren't we? So we're all going to have new stuff come the end. Can you imagine? I think that was quite funny, actually. And I'm, and, and I'm so sorry to all you hairdressers out there, but my God, you're going to be bombarded come the end. We are all going to be legging it to you. Um, so, yeah, you're going to be doing loads of hours. Catch up time. All right, so there we go. Tom, the pussycat, he has been in this morning, but it's nice. So he's buggered off back out again. So, yeah, he didn't really want to know me today. That's fine. I don't know where he's gone. He's gone off doing cat things in the gardens around about, no doubt. Um, but yeah, he's all well and good. All right. Now, sort of behind me here today, 
do 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 this is one of my new patterns um black conch yeah and i have to say that i nicked it off my brother because because yeah black conch he was doodling and this was his thing um so i borrowed it <laughs> and adjusted it and out it came a little bit more complicated than previously done with all sorts of things around now a little bit of play in here because if you look at the the um i don't know if you can see that even the binding the binding actually matches the square within all right so that that was actually quite a little bit of you've got to concentrate you've got to get your ruler out and get it all lined up and everything so that's all a bit of fun so that one's available over on abbyann.com um in my shop you might like i am posting stuff out girls and boys um i've got post box literally outside our front gate and i do have a supply of stamps and stuff so if you do want anything um for the most part i can post out for you if it's bigger um if and when i have to go to town to get food and things if the post office is open i will nip in there and post stuff for you so if you do need any any supplies um do shout i know i don't always do fabric and things online but in this day and age if you need it and i've got it i'm happy to post it for you all right so that's that bit um right so photos onto facebook of all your lovely blocks please girls and boys we got some lovely stuff going on as i say so that'd be really cool so keep them coming any questions with these blocks that we're doing do shout me um as i'm sort of making them up as we go i don't really know and so hopefully i've come across all the problems while i've been making my samples um that can help you so if you've got any questions do ask all right youtube i have to keep saying this apparently please subscribe um then you get notification apparently of when the day's wittering has come up with the how to what to and all the rest of it okay um and as i say hopefully today tomorrow i'm going to get uh, putting a few more instructions written instructions up on the facebook group all right for those that need to play catch up there we go just a short wittering today in the lovely sunshine in cornwall all right so is there anything else i need to say probably not only have a lovely day um do get in there get a bit creative enjoy yourself um, and the other thing is also with my blocks um they're not necessarily quick things to do they're not necessarily easy um but where's the point if we're not learning and trying something new all the time okay so i have to say i'm a bit wicked in that i make you get on and do and think and all the rest of it um but do shout me if you need i'm gonna say have a happy day folks all right enjoy the sunshine um make the best of what we got going on i hope you're all well and staying out of each other's way all right um as difficult as that might be please do um and, and as i say stay well right i'm coming around there to turn you all off i was on my jolly way all right here we come happy day